All right, so I got the clutch hub back on. You can see the clutch keys are all in place, nice and even. You got the little hook kind of grabbing the edge, and then you got the middle one there. This uh, this little spring likes to likes to flip up on you, so. I've learned the hard way that it'll pop out on you. And once these keys pop up and out, like I mentioned in my last video, you can upset the spring on the other side of this, which you cannot get at unless you pull the hub again, which is what I just did. So fortunately, everything's good. You press this, this hub on. Uh, you can see the, the, um, the splines here, right? This gets pressed down. Last video, I had a piece of three inch pipe over the top push it down, you bottom it out, uh, it rests right against a landing on the shaft underneath and then you'll know you got there because you've got that little recess, that's where your snap ring goes. So this snap ring fits right in there and it just holds that thing in place. And I just use uh, regular snap ring pliers, they're not necessarily made for this but they get the job done you just got to spread it far enough to get it over and then you can kind of flip it on there with a screwdriver so now i'm back in better shape i got my original springs back in i was able to move it back and forth pretty comfortably before it was just sticking and this time i made sure see the synchro meshes in there you got these little reliefs and the synchro underneath same thing it's got those little notches that need to line up with the clutch springs so it sits down there like that and it moves a little bit and that's all right and then what this thing does is as you shift it goes up and over that synchro or down and over that synchro and what i did last time i think when i was moving it around by hand i pushed it too far and i let the synchro pull away and the springs popped out and it was a whole so now I'm back in better shape. And just as a comparison, here's the new old stock ones that I, uh, uh, springs that I ordered. You can see they're like a piece of, they're like a piece of flat stock. They're much stiffer than the old ones. Um, but I don't think these are meant for the kind of keys that I have, as I, I mentioned in the last video. So stiffer isn't necessarily better. You know, they made minor changes with this transmission. It was in use for 20-something years. And they made little tweaks and upgrades to it over the years. And I, I think that might have been one of them. So, all right, I'm back in business. I'll be putting this back in. And uh, I'll cover the rest of the reinstallation later. Thanks. Bye.